Hey guys, welcome back. Now don't freak out, I know this looks like heaven, but I assure you it's not. And this is just a halo that I built myself last weekend. Uh, this halo consists of two major parts. Uh, this glowing donut right here and something that I call the invisible mount that I designed myself and I'm gonna show it to you in a second. It actually holds up the entire halo in place. So let's take a closer look at this thing. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, it's a bit front heavy when it's not on a head. Let's start with the halo. So let's talk about the obvious. Um, I made the halo itself from plexiglass and I used the edge lighting technique to illuminate the entire surface, just like my Mercy Wings. It has a bit of a curve to it because I removed a lot of excess material with sanding to reduce weight. The wires that supply the power to the LEDs come down the same head facing side so you don't really see them when the halo is on. And right next to the wires there's a couple of mounting holes. By having all the mess in a single spot it's much easier to make the rest of it look clean, you know? And regarding the size of the halo, um, obviously you can make yours as large or small as you want, but I went with this size because I felt that this is in proportion with the wings that I already made, and I think it's a good size for my head, so yeah. I'm using pretty heavy and dense plexiglass for this, and honestly if I didn't need to match the look of the wings, I would use something else, and so should you. If you're building something of your own, I'd suggest using something hollow or lightweight like uh, see-through tubing or foam. Both of those can diffuse light and they're much lighter than plexi. So that was the halo, now it's time for the invisible mount. It might not be as flashy, but it's very important. I made it primarily from steel wire and I think it's some sort of a spring steel because it's very rigid and it's very very hard to deform, like with bare hands I have a hard time even bending it. So after I hammered it into shape to fit my head, I knew it will stay that way. And since it's so rigid, it actually not only grips around the ears, but also performs some clamping action, so it adds some extra friction for stability. It's made up of three major parts. The uh, part that goes behind my neck from ear to ear, uh, the stem that holds up the halo, and neck support. At the top of the stem, there's a little platform that I made out of two bolts welded together to fasten the halo. It matches the holes in the plexi and it's tightened down with some nuts. For the neck support, I used much thinner steel wire. That's because it's bendable with bare hands and it's nice to be able to adjust the fit a little bit without any tools, you know, when you're wearing it. In essence, this whole thing works as a tripod. The mount rests on the back of the neck and ears. As long as the center of mass of the halo is somewhere within this triangle, it should stay on your head. I added some black shrink tube on the parts that go around the ears just for some extra friction and comfort, but I think I might swap them out for some white shrink tube and then airbrush it with some skin tone paint just to make it a bit more invisible. Now most of this is welded together so I understand that it's not really accessible for the regular person, uh, but there are ways to recreate this uh, without a welding machine at home. Now it depends on how heavy the item you want to suspend is. Um, I'm using steel because my halo is heavy, but if you want to suspend something lighter, like a little crown or something, um, then you can just use aluminum wire. Aluminum wire is very lightweight and easy to shape, um, it's kind of like Play-Doh, you can actually bend it with your bare hands and it's perfect for most people. And if you shape it from a single piece, you won't need to weld anything. If you need to use steel because the item you're trying to suspend is a bit on the heavier side, kind of like mine, um, I suggest you look into silver brazing. Silver brazing is the technique that I use in my Cyberblade video, it's kind of like welding but all you need is a blowtorch and some brazing wire. It might look intimidating at first, but uh, brazing a few wires like this together is an ideal beginner project and it's a skill for a lifetime, so I urge you to try it. Let me know if you would like a video on it. Anyways, this was my craft and tell and I hope you got some ideas for your future projects. If you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more. It just really helps with the YouTube algorithms and all that, you know, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, but yeah, that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.